He loses money. So does ophthalmology. Who cares? This is a hospital. You can't just cut a department. You can't control him. I am the only one that can control him. D D Dr. House in the house. Impeccable timing as always. You have no authority to release my patient. My colleague has just informed me she has a singular talent. You are just in time for a demonstration. Dr. House, from what I understand, your from patient... From what you understand, he's not your patient. How the hell do you understand anything? That's sad. You're not even a doctor. John Smith is here only because of a court order. I had the records faxed to the judge. She rescinded the order. Why bother? Just to piss me off? Keeping the government off our ass. Hmm. Yeah, that makes no sense for a public institution. OK. OK what? OK, sir. Carry on. He really cares about his patients. Yeah, and he just walked out of here with nothing. Something's up. On your way to polish Vogler's car? Gone are the days of the grumpy old doc seeing patients in the basement of his house, getting paid a few chickens. How will I eat? You know what Cuddy's been locked away with Vogler about all day today and yesterday? Floor polish costs through the roof. You. Your secretary's been in the photocopier all day with your records. It's all they're looking at in there. My car's been stolen. Or reincarnated. Pink slip. A gift from the Arnello brothers. You know. They're gangsters, sure, but they're thoughtful, too. You can't keep it. It's graft. No, 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 no. Uh, graft is if I tell him I'll only make it better if he slips me a couple bucks or pay off for something I'm not supposed to do. If I'd asked for the payoff, which I didn't, I would have done the bad thing anyway. So there's nothing wrong with this. Right. Damn. 65. Perfectly restored. What do you think a guy like Joey would do if someone turned down a gift? That's kind of an insult, isn't it? He might hurt you. It's definitely possible. I'm screwed. Gotta take the car. So, the mobster's good to go? I'll keep him overnight and let the feds know he's good to rat out whoever he wants. Brother won't be happy. Maybe you have to get back in the car. You should let Vogler tell the feds. Why? Because it matters to him. Because you humiliated him the first time Joey was released. You think he should still be in third there, he Ace? humiliated himself. And because your job depends on the kind of mood Vogler's in at the end of his marathon with Cuddy. Seriously, man, have you ever actually driven an automobile before? There are four gears, you know. The 66 came with a shut up button. healthy and can be released. Thanks for letting us know. Give me the U.S. Attorney's office. I see you found out what we we're meeting about. You're having a meeting? Well, whatever the reason, the coat looks good on you. John Hugh Lozen just caused this kind of liver failure? No way. Not by themselves, but in combination with the interferon. It's like gas to a flame. What interferon? For the hep C. What hep C? Oops. Is hiding a mobster's hep C that important? Is letting the feds know everything that important? You know what? You are a piece of work. Even now, Ed? knowing. Edward. Joey's back in a coma. Vogler wants to fire you. Lose the whole department. Good thing you fought for me, though, right? Dress was a nice move, but you gotta follow it up. Nasty weekend in Vegas. Something that shows off your real administrative skills. He threatened to fire me. I'm 
sorry. So how long do I have? Got a lot of personal stuff to pick up. I assume you're gonna want to throw a party. I told him I know where the bodies are buried. The stuff he needs to know that's not in the books. Told him he can't ditch me. He's only keeping you on because you know the secret handshakes. He's a quick study. Six months, he'll have the moose down. He won't need you anymore. I'll deal with that then. So I stay? Yes. But some things are going to change. Profits. New world order. Everything's about profits. Yeah, that's real new. You could rent out the Corvette every once in a while, or lend it to a friend. That would be easy, and it would be wrong. But Cotty stood up for you. To a point. To a point. I gotta do six more clinic hours a month. So do two of them. Why only two? Because one of them's gone. I gotta fire somebody. Good morning.